Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video we are in Obelisk Bay exploring the Beehive Casemate fortifications um, which opened in 1874. Um, there'll be more information about these casemates in the description below but in the meantime uh, just sit back, enjoy and thanks for watching. All right, so we found a way in. Um, I'll deal with the exterior last. All right, concerning it all. <laughs> Just close the gate behind you. So from photos I've seen, um, these probably have to be the most impressive bunkers that I've seen. It is in the middle of summer, so I've just got to keep an eye out for spiders and I don't know about snakes, but yeah. Don't bump your head on it. Coming. This is weird. It's like someone's lounge room. What the hell? is caving in man. Are you kidding me? There's nothing here. Okay. I was literally, because I thought I heard breathing, but it was coming from this little hole. If you listen carefully. Weird. I'm not sure how much we'll be able to get into, but um, I suppose that I could still show you bits and pieces through the outside. I honestly thought that maybe, maybe this would be the entrance to the whole thing, but um, I suppose we could still try. Yeah, I think it's a wave. It sounds like breathing. Um, but I know that there was a movie filmed um, in or around the casemates uh, called Stone. I don't know if this these. Um, picture frames and the clock or something to do with that and the carpet kind of looks like it could have been used as someone's lounge room um, could have been something to do with the movie or it could be something to do with um, <laughs> someone actually using it as their lounge room I guess um, but this is really caving in but that yeah that's all we can see from this part um, 
but we will stick the camera through other bits and pieces of the place. Quite interesting. I've seen a lot of photos. Um, hey, I'll still upload this video, and if, you know, at a later date we do come back and, um, and we're able to sort of get into a bit more of the place, then... Yeah, but we'll, we'll have a look around. Um, let's head that way first, I think, just in case there's another entrance. All right, so that's where we came from. Uh, up there is where uh, we came from from the very beginning of the video, and then the way we'll head back and show a bit more of the outside later on. There is a staircase down here. There's so many entrances to this place. Just uh, hoping a few more. Or at least one more might be open. We'll check anyway. Oh, never mind. No, that's not a door. And there should be anyway. I mean, it's small enough to get through there. There's no ladder or anything to get up to the top. However, I'll go around the other way for that though. This is where one of the gun placements would have been, I imagine. A rather clean, possibly new bit of sandstone where a plaque might end up going. solely about looking for an entrance to the place. That's all right. I'll put a bit more history about the joint in the description. Um, let's just put this through for turning it on. Okay. I'm just looking out through another entrance. I don't know what's to the left. Staircase just on the other side here. It's hidden there. Did you say there's a path on the other side? I think so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Right, let's 
just in there. So the last door that we had a look at just before, um, you could see a, an opening. That's the door we're now going to head to. Let's have a look in here just in case there is another staircase down. Uh, and that's, that's the end, that's the edge just down there. So I think maybe back up. There's a slight opening to be able to get through to it from here. <sighs> yeah, there is an opening here. why but I have sort of high hopes for this one maybe <laughs> kind of looks very similar to the others but Back in the day of the war, the trees wouldn't have been in the way, obviously. So you'll see in a minute the main part that I want to get into. I'm not sure if we'll be in luck in this video or not, but that's all right. So you've got Sydney Heads just out there in the distance, which is I suppose what, the, what they were monitoring. This is another gun placement. We'll be able to take a walk along the top of it as well. There might be some entrances up there, maybe a staircase or two. Is there a pathway down there by any chance? Okay. And this one doesn't have a plaque in front of it. Looks like it may be used. I don't know.
One of these rooms actually had a really cool uh, bit of artwork on the floor of this creepy big winged creature. Unless I'm looking in the wrong spot, I'm pretty, pretty sure it's gone. Gonna have a quick look through here. I was just uh, watching a YouTube video from uh, Optimus Prime, uh, sort of showing a bit of a look inside the casemates and um, giving a bit of a description about the movie Stone that was filmed down there. something I didn't film at the beginning of the video when we started so that's that sign that you can see the back of is where it says beehive casemates and there's actually a, uh, a staircase here but the door is completely different so that's been replaced and it's also um, locked however I am going to go down there for the sake of this video even though I've already been down He's down there. Yeah, that's locked. Definitely something to keep checking back with uh, and if and if I do come back here at some point in the future and find that it is open, then yeah. But we'll have a look at the roof of the place shortly. Found another gun placement here. You know, like little um, little ramps and things like that heading down and I thought there was actually a door on the other side but there's not and the same for here as well but there's nothing on the other side I'm actually trying to find these little openings on the cliff face which actually could be down there I'm just trying to figure out exactly where they are and see if we can get down to them or not all right so we finally found a pathway rope included that um, is heading right down so we're gonna see if we can find this thing. It's turned out to be an adventure video. <laughs> That's all right. Sort of filming what, filming what I see. You know what I mean? Okay. So we've reached the cliff face. Beautiful views. Even if this is a waste of time, I'm still, still keeping this and uploading it. <laughs> Proof that I searched. All right. So I'm thinking that these are it, right, right there, but. How to get over to it. Yeah, I know I'm a chicken shit and I'm freaked of heights, but something that makes it even more creepy is I can't swim, literally. The only move I can do in the water is probably sink or something like that. We'll see, but there's this fisher dude over there though. See? One and the other two are there, I think. All right, so we ditched where we were before, went for a bit more of a walk, uh, found some stairs which are actually just in front of us, even though you probably can't make them out at the moment, but yeah. All right, so there's a staircase, a bit of a walkway 
tree here, bring out one of Sydney's fairies, doing its thing. Because, yeah, there was that bloke that was doing his fishing, and, um, and I swear, like around the other side, and I swear I saw the, uh, where there could be those tunnels, whether you can get in or not, I just want to see the outside, that's the main thing. Careful, asparagus turn, it's spiky. Not dangerous, but it's just a pain in the ass when you get spiked by the shit. Made it down. Now there's this here, I'm not sure if that's anything to do with it, it actually kind of looks uh, like it could be some kind of drainage, so I'll put that up and hold and head up there for a little bit. Um, I've got not terribly long until um, high tide, it's about 2.30ish, high tide's at 4.46 it's showing, so. Oh man, tide's starting to come in down there so I can't walk through there and it's a bit of a shitty spot to walk along there. Not sure if I can get to them. Okay, so this is the roof of the beehive casemate. Um, there's a sign here showing that it's called the armoured casemate. I don't know if, um, I guess they're technically the same thing, they're part of the same structure. Looks like there's a bit of an opening at the end to the right there too, so. There's micro bats in here apparently. That's where I was looking to get into. Alright, well there's that opening that I was all too excited about. But yeah, this door here, the one that the one that we just looked in, the one with the sign about the micro bats that's the one I've been looking for so there's another structure um you probably saw it at the beginning of the video where there's these like little thin tracks that went in that is um that's where that leads like this the other end of that <sighs> unstable structure gun placement all right so I'm just gonna walk along the roof area to see if there is any sort of uh, roof access we were just down there before if there's not that's all right we'll just keep checking back if it is unlocked then we'll just take a peaceful walk through there and So it's not an extremely long tunnel, but it's a, it's got quite a few rooms in it. Some pretty cool rooms too. We'll check that main entrance again and then I think we'll call it. It's about half an hour until the next bus.
some tracks that I guess would cart, would have carted things through the tunnel back in its day. See if we can get a bit of a peek in there. best I can do. <laughs> All right, I did spot one more thing, but I don't think it's anything to do with an entrance. If this is nothing, then I'll, I'll wrap this one up. Nah. Oh, shit. <laughs> Looks like maybe the remains of another gun placement or maybe just a, maybe just a building of sorts. Not much left of it. But anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Abandoned Oz, share the video, all that good shit. I'll catch you all soon. Bye.